What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can ring the little bell and be uh, notified for future readings. If you enjoy my Gabby mouth and you enjoy the readings, you can smash the sub button. Just saying. It'll not notify you for future readings. Just saying. This is true hidden for Sun of Leo. This can resonate to have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. This is truth hidden. It's a little different than um, your um, the other readings. It's well, it's basically what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. It can be anybody, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, a lover, a past lover, or Sally Joe down the street that has so many kids she doesn't know what to do. It could be anybody. Uh, it's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys, you're the bestest. Every like, subscribe, share, unlike, and donation. All of it. Seriously. If you like, By the way, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. Links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. But you guys are the bomb because, and I want to say a shout out and thank you to YouTube too. Because I'm back on the YouTube recommendation list. Just for real, for real. I was about six to nine months ago. I'm back on it now, but I think it's because of you guys. So thank you guys so freaking much for all the love and support. And thanks to YouTube. I just want to say that. You guys are just the bestest. Okay, so I got you two channeled in as I was meditating on your energy. Um, the first one I heard, um, th now this is true to what somebody doesn't want you to know. I heard lots of communications about to come in soon. Um, so you, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Some kind of lots of communications about to come in soon to you. So, um... I don't know why they don't want you to know that, but you're about to start getting, it sounds like a flood of freaking communication. It could be from one person for some of you guys. It could be from a million people for some of you guys, but you're about to start getting a flood of communication. Um, that could, to me, that could go positive or negative. You plug that in, however that resonates and how you handle that in your life. And the second one I heard, um, um, someone's about to um, tell you uh, who stole your panties is what I heard. <laughs> Someone's about to tell you who stole your panties. I, you can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. I'm serious. That is what I heard. So <laughs> this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know that somebody's about to tell you who stole your panties. So somebody, if this resonates with you or you feel it resonates with you or suspect that somebody stole your panties, um, you can be masculine or femme, but you like to wear panties. I'll tell you that. Um and you suspected somebody or you knew somebody stole your panties in the past. Apparently, somebody's about to tell you who stole them. So you plug it in how, how that resonates. Woo. Death, upright, nine of cups, reverse. Someone's about to OD soon. Addictions are about to take over them. For some, it will res result in a death. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah, this is starting off strong here, Leo. So this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. Heard um, someone's about to OD soon. Um, addictions are about to take over them. And for some of these people, it's going to result in a death. So, um, that's terrible. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, OD is overdose. Um, some kind of addiction energy that's going to cause at least a death for one of these people. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with several people that's dealing with addictions and struggling with addictions. But um, it sounds like a death is going to result for at least one of these people. Um, you plug it in, however that resonates in your life. It's, that's really sad. OD is overdosing. Now, that could be on Tylenol. It could be on um, aspirin. It could be on cough medicine. It could be on... Um, prescription pain medicine or prescription medicine um it could be on you know mething it up or snorting it up or whatever the crap they're doing it could be alcohol but it's some kind of addiction energy that's about to over toxate their body basically um that's i heard for some it's going to cause a death so i mean this is serious like serious death energy like finalization energy um their body, it just sounds like their body is not going to be able to take it anymore. It sounds like they're just overdoing it and it's about to take them out. However that resonates, that's really sad. And then Nine of Cups reversed. Um, I think that's the 
doing it, doing it, doing it, and then their body just can't take any more and they're just out. Um, I think normally, energetically, they're upright because this is addiction, party hard card. Um, that's exactly what I think. But I think they're about to do it so much and be the last short snort or the last shoot up or the last um, Jim or Jack they drink that it's about to put them reversed into the grave. And I hate to say that. That is terrible. That's what I'm getting from the messages and the cards. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because uh, it's a Scorpio on like energy or not. If you are, they could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Benham, or Jupiter. I heard addictions are about to take over. So, I mean, I think it's about to be the last shoot up, the last snort up, the last Jim or Jack, the last something that's about to overtoxate their body. And I hate to say that. I do. Spirit messages to you have a sign of um, Leo. But this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Series of chain events will occur with this. For some, you will be notified. For some, they will hide it from you. Okay. I heard series of chain events will occur with this. For some, you will be notified. And for some, they will, uh, they will hide it from you. For some, they will try to hide it from you, but it will not work. Okay, so for some you will be notified, for some they will uh, they will hide it from you, and for some they will try to hide it from you, but it will not work. So some kind of death energy coming up. I hate to say, but we've had a lot of death energy in the energy spaces recently. Several signs, not just um, Leo's truth hidden, many signs. It's really sad, but this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. I guess that they're, they're going to hide the death for some. Um, they're not going to tell you, but for some they're going to try to hide it, and you're still going to find out about it. Um, that's sad that they would try to, anybody would ever try to hide any kind of death. And I'm serious about that. Two of Swords upright, the chariot upright. Many people are discussing a Leo, Leo and their family privately behind the scenes right now. So they can travel and move on. Okay. So this is what they don't want you to know, Leo. I'm presuming if you have a family, um, if this resonates with you. I heard many people are discussing a Leo and their family privately behind the scenes right now. So they can travel and move on. So this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. That apparently they're privately discussing you. Um, privately behind the scenes. At least they're doing it with confidentiality. Um, but her privately and behind the scenes. So you can travel and move on. So I'm assuming with your babies. Travel and move on with your babies or your kids or your teenagers or whoever. Um, however this plugs in your life. So, um, so, that, so a decision can be made. They're trying to make a decision. Um, so you can travel and move on with your um, kiddos or babies or teenagers or whoever. So um, for some, you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, we have, can this is cancer energy. If you could be or could not be. Um, if you are, they could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, maintain, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. A cancer is very, very, very regretful of how they handled a situation in the past. They will probably pay it forward to a Leo soon. Know this. Okay, so, whoa. So, cancer energy in here. So, um, you plug it in, how that resonates. You're dealing with some kind of cancer energy. This is what this cancer doesn't want you to know, but it's a good message. I heard a cancer is very, very regretful of how they handled the situation in the past. I uh, think towards you, Leo. For some, I feel you have children. I'm just being serious about that. Um, but I heard um, they're very regretful of how they handled the situation in the past. But it sounds like they're about to help pay it forward to you um, soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, one more.
pyramids it is you have a sign of Leo. An executive cancer is about to be terminated soon. The company is about to find out they were involved in some serious illegal business in the past, money laundering and gambling. Oh my God. Whoa. Um, strong cancer energy in here. Oh my God. So this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know, Leo. It's an executive cancer. So executive cancer. So like a CEO cancer. Um, I heard executive cancer. So it's a CEO cancer. Um, I heard their company. So they are a CEO executive in this company. But their company is about to find out that they were involved in some kind of illegal business and gambling. I heard of the past. Um, I heard they're about to be terminated soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Wow. Five of Cups reverse, can, uh, King Cups upright, Ten of Swords reverse. A particular Leo is about to really find but serious professional satisfaction and emotional satisfaction soon. Same person. This person, you're, you're going to deal with somebody professionally and you're going to mirror them. It's going to lead to a series of chain of events. Okay, whoa, so that was a long one, long but strong. Can y'all see this mess? He just was doing this last night in Aquarius's. Just saying, just saying. Same exact thing in Aquarius's reading. Everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. So maybe for some you're dealing with an Aquarius, because he was doing the exact same thing in Aquarius's reading. Exact freaking same thing. And I've been doing sign readings all night for all signs for Truth Hidden. It has not started until... This one tonight, and then Aquarius is last night. So I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, just saying. But whoever this is for, I heard um, a Leo is about to start uh, get professional and emotional satisfaction um, soon. So you're about to, for some, I feel you're going to get a new job, or you're about to get a raise or a promotion, and it's about to make you very freaking happy. However, that resonates for you. Or you, um, that's exactly what I think. But you're not. <laughs> he cracks me up. He cracks me up, man. But um, I heard basically um, it's going to fulfill you. It's going to fulfill you. It's, it hasn't happened yet. I feel like it's about to. Um, I heard you're going to mirror one particular person in this situation. So. You'll be working with several people, it sounds like. Um, but one particular person you're going to mirror, and um, it's, um, and they're going to mirror you. Very complimentary. Okay. I heard, and they are going to mirror you. Very complimentary. So it sounds like one, you haven't, you're either about to get a raise or a promotion or like a lat move or a transfer or something. It sounds like it's going to put you in a new, for some, you could be working in this company 20 years and then you get the raise or promotion or lat move or transfer or something that's going to put you in a new energy space with somebody new. For some, it could be a new job. Um, you plug it in however that resonates, but it's new energy space with a new person um, and it's going to help you promote, uh, like bump you up professionally. You're going to be very, very happy professionally, whether it's a lat move, a new job, a transfer, a promotion, a new job position, etc., etc. Uh, but it's a new energy space. I'll tell you that. Um, but it's a new person coming into this energy space 
that's going to mirror you and you're going to mirror them and it's going to be very very complimentary and copahescent um however this resonates um, i heard it's going to be very very um good for both of you um it's going to bring you emotional satisfaction you and this other person so it's not just you going to get the emotional satisfaction but the other person will too it's going to be very copahescent um i heard it's going to benefit both of you both of you so you plug it in how it resonates um so your person is coming off as a king of cups upright this is the um <laughs> he is going to town back there he he just entertains himself just like an aquarius is reading um but they're coming off as very giving loving and kind towards you it could be a masculine energy or a femme that takes on a heavy masculine energy you plug it in how it resonates they're going to, I heard mirror you. So y'all will be very mirroring. Mirroring means basically complimenting each other. Act the same way, do the same way, think the same way. Yeah. Um, uh, same kind of mannerisms, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and then Ten of Swords reverse. So that's no betrayal. Uh, Ten of Swords upright is the biggest betrayal in the tarot. Reversed, it's. Um, no betrayal i think it's openness i think it's communication i think it's the mirroring i think it's the getting closer energy is exactly what i think here um very positive energy here very positive and it's going to bring lots of success professionally and other series of chain events okay i heard lots of success here professionally lots um, and it's going to bring other series of chain of events. So it's somebody you're going to be working with in a professional setting. I think for some, it might bring love down the line. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't hear that specifically, but it might, um, because you'll be mirroring this person so much and they'll be mirroring you and y'all, I mean, you're going to, it looks like you're going to open up to them or they're going to open up to you, or you're both going to open up to each other. Um, you got ten of swords reversed with the couple with the king of cups upright. Um, they're going to be very giving, loving, and kind and nurturing towards you. And it sounds like you will be towards them. And it's just going to be a breeding ground for positivity. And it sounds like the company is going to benefit greatly. Um, heard possible power couple in the future. So, I mean, it's somebody you're about to meet that in a professional sense that you might possibly date down the line is what i think um possibly now possibly of course everybody has free will free will and you don't have to do that if you don't want to but it's gonna y'all are gonna have very positive energy i'll tell you that so it might lead to that possible powerful energy um you plug it in how it resonates oh my gosh longest one let me see if i hear anything else okay i didn't i didn't all right you guys we're done i love you guys i hope this helped if you think anyone else could benefit from the messages please share the videos on your social media i'd appreciate it love you guys namaste